Hi everyone, so another useful feature called multi window which you may have seen on the Galaxy S4 has also been removed from the Galaxy S4 mini which is kind of upsetting. Luckily there is this exposed module that allows us to have multi window on Samsung Galaxy S4 mini. So for this we need to have the exposed framework installed. If you're wondering how to do that you can check out the video which I have made a few months ago. I have left a link in the description for this video. Anyways, this feature was tested by a member from our forum scout QMail Hider and it seems to be working just fine. So let's start off by installing the exposed framework. So install that by following the video which I mentioned earlier. And once you have installed the exposed framework, you need to open up the installer. Here it is. And now you need to head into modules. And basically now you need to search for modules. So where you see modules there, tap on download, tap on the magnifying glass and now search for X multi window. There we go, it is this one, select it, scroll down to the latest version, choose to download, and choose install. And now once you have installed this, you need to tap on done, head back, go into framework, and choose reboot. Actually, sorry about that, you first need to head into modules, you need to enable it like this, and you need to head into framework, and choose reboot. And now once your phone boots up fully, you need to head into your app drawer and this is where you find the uh, app shortcut. So open it up and this is what you should get now, this is the interface. Now the first thing which I would recommend is to head into sidebar, sidebar settings and now you need to minimize it a bit because it will look a bit bigger but that is up to you actually but I would downsize it to let's say 70% or so. And the next thing is you need to choose the applications which you want to appear there. So you can choose a, a vast number of applications, but keep in mind that not any not every application might be compatible, might work with this. So in this video as an example, I'm going to be using YouTube and Gmail. So I'm going to do a test now and see if I can use if I can watch YouTube videos and in the meantime do something else, such as reading my mail. So look for YouTube. So I'm going to select YouTube now. And the next app, which I'm going to choose, is Gmail. So, I'm going to look for Gmail now. There we go. So far I have two apps added in here. Basically now we need to head back and choose Open Sidebar. And now we have just enabled this feature and now what you need to do to activate it to make it pop up is you need to swipe from the uh, left end to the right, like this. And there we go, as you can see now, this is our sidebar here in which we can launch the applications. So for example, I'm going to add Gmail on top, so I'm going to tap on it, I'm going to choose Add to Up Workspace, like this, and there we go, as you can see it has opened it up. And now I'm going to tap on YouTube and I'm going to add it to the Down Workspace. And there we go, as you can see, now I have YouTube and I have Gmail running at the same time on two separate windows. And to hide this, you basically need to swipe to the, from the left to the right again from the end, like this. And it is gone, it will not interfere now. And let's do a test now. So I'm going to start a video on YouTube. And in the meantime, I'm going to be browsing through my email. And as you can see, it is working. So yeah, I can use Gmail. And in the meantime, I can watch a YouTube video. And you can also hear the sound. So yeah, as you can see, it is working just fine. And so that's pretty much it for this video. This is how you activate multi-window on the Samsung Galaxy S4 mini. Now I'm not really sure about games, I'm pretty sure that games will not be able to run on this. So like I said earlier, you need to have the exposed framework installed for this. Link is in the description, link for this model is also in the description, and everything else that you need. And that is all everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please hit the like button, if you haven't subscribed already please do so as there will be more helpful videos like this in the future, also I would highly recommend to check out this other channel that I have, I do app reviews, I comment on things, I show you uh, various tips and tricks on stuff, so yeah, you can check it out if you like, once again thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time, goodbye.